it's Robinson. I'm looking at the notes. Hi, sorry. <laughs> I now now I feel like I don't know what I'm doing for the IAB. Are we doing the penny for the actual IAB? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did and I promptly deleted that. I said no, not at this time of the day. <laughs> no, I said no. Put the mugs down and stop. <laughs> okay, so we're leaving the penny alone because that's what we're doing for the actual IAB. So, when the IAB comes in January, we're not just giving it to them like Mindy was saying, like give it to them and see what happens. We're, yeah, we're teaching it, but we're using the actual penny article to do the teaching with. But we can prep with anything that we think would serve that. Okay, 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 that's all I needed. Okay, thanks, bye. We have a district assessment coming up when we get back from winter break, an interim assessment block. I don't know what the B stands for. Um, and basically it's a written assessment and the way they phrase it or frame it is like it's just for practice to expose kids to the, system, the testing system which at this point I feel like the kids are exposed and we've just gone back and forth over um, giving it standardized versus non-standardized which basically is the difference of are we just going to give it to them and say have at it good luck and then see what they know or teach them through it and we're deciding to teach them through it because quite honestly we already know what they don't know they they don't really know how to write so for my ua class my universal access class which is the class period that really is not my favorite for a variety of reasons um we're supposed to use that time this week and next week to kind of prepare them for that um and the essay is explanatory i believe um let me see i need to sneeze but I just am not 100% sure what I want to do. And I don't like the feeling of being kind of in limbo as to what I want to do. Um, yeah, it's explanatory. So, I need to figure that out. <laughs> because I don't have my prep period. We have a PLC meeting. And what I thought I was going to do, I'm now not going to do it. Which means I need to reassess my life in the next six minutes. Good morning, by the way. <laughs> it's 3.45 and I just can't. I'm just over today in so many different ways. Um, I just am, like, I just am. I just feel like I'm nagging all the time like all the time and nagging about very basic things and if nagging is not your default personality which is not my default personality and you're nagging all day it really just drains the life force out of you and I think that is what's happening um, it's like the life is being drained out of me on top of just being tired because it's almost winter break on top of you know, just the demands of what's going on right now with teaching and the fundraiser that is going well, but it is a lot of work in Snowflake or Snowflake Factory. Um, just to show you the mess that's in my room in case people think that my room is always in pristine and clean condition. These are snowflakes here. Here's the die cut machine. Here is the mess that we've created because we just die cut whenever we can. Um, if I walk to my desk over here, there are more snowflakes here. And so all of this stuff just needs to be cleaned up before I go home. And when I say I desperately want to go home right now, I truly do. But I know I cannot leave with all this stuff everywhere. And did I just waste about an hour talking and socializing? I did. That's my bad, but it was kind of necessary. I think that um, just what is making teaching challenging so far or right now, and I may have said this in one of the first vlogs, it's just there is I there is a lack of 
just like a lack of accountability. I, I don't really know what it is. It's just this year it feels like kids don't really know that they're supposed to come to school and then work and um, get things done and don't understand the cause and effect relationship between you know work not being complete and grades and um, you're also battling parents in ways that you really shouldn't be battling parents um, and I'm just tired of that today <laughs> like I've just I've just had it um, because I worked too hard and too long of hours to be dealing with some of the stuff I'm dealing with and I feel very undervalued. Um, and that's like a persistent feeling this year. And I really, I was telling someone in the office after school that I'm so thankful for the students that I had last year and the year before that, you know, keep in touch and reach out and ask how I'm, how I'm doing and come to visit and genuinely show like concern or the desire to stay in touch I'm really so thankful for them because this year it's just been rough and I do have really great students this year um, that are very kind and very sweet but it's like I can't even I can't they don't it's like they don't get the the attention they deserve because I'm nagging all day or redirecting or reminding in ways and at levels that I shouldn't need to do at this age. And even in that, I, none of my kids, I don't really have any kids that are just overtly rude. Well, no, I don't think so. That are just like um, vindictive, nasty kids. It's just they're undisciplined or untrained or um, I think that's it. Like. I don't know if it's a lack of maturity. I really don't know, but they're just different in a way that requires a lot more energy that will then drain you at the end of the day. Um, I don't even <laughs> know. I mean, what did we do today? We read a section of social studies. We tried a new structure in language arts, which I'm not sure how I feel about it because I don't know. I don't know if it's the structure or just my personality and what I want to see in class or the type A-ness in me, but it's called 136. And so you have kids think about an answer to an open-ended question in a group of one, so basically on their own. So you give them think time to respond. Then you have them get in a group of three, they exchange answers with each other. And then that group of three um, gets in a group of six and they again exchange answers. So we use this today for vocabulary and they were coming up with synonyms for the voca vocabulary words from Cujo. So by the end of the movement into a group of three to a group of six, they should have at least a couple, a few synonyms for each vocabulary word which they will need um, for their personal thesaurus assignment that I'll probably give them tomorrow and have it due on Friday. And I believe for the most part, and I think they were, and so maybe it's just me, they were exchanging words and they were working on that, but they were also socializing in the midst of it. And I think because I'm just so tired and I have less patience, like I had less tolerance for the socializing that was occurring while the work was being done, so that by 2.30, when the bell rang, I was just tired, on top of like I'm doing that, but I'm also like feverishly trying to make sure we see on top of things with um, the snowflake your teacher. Um, someone mentioned or asked or suggested that I we pre-cut all these snowflakes and um, in case they don't see that response, we did. We did have some pre-cut, um, but we just ran out. So we're like cutting as we go now. So what I know I'll do, I don't know if I mentioned this in a previous vlog, is we will pre-cut snowflakes at the end of the year for next year and just kind of that'll be a running thing that we do. One of my coworkers also suggested using a Cricut, but the eight that I work with has a Cricut and I have a Cricut, but she was saying the thing with the Cricut is you have to pull out the page and punch them out. Um, but And so she wasn't sure if that was any quicker than a die cut. So we'll see. But I'm just, I'm, I'm done in so many different ways. I'm, I'm over it all. <laughs> I'm over it all. I'm over everybody. I just need a break. Um, and now I have to 
stay here and clean up before I go and I need to go home and make the quiz that we're gonna need for tomorrow and I just don't have the <laughs> energy to do it, but I have to. So, I just, it wasn't a terrible day. I think it was just, it was just a day. We'll say that, it was just a day. It wasn't like, wasn't this bad, bad day where bad things happen, but it was definitely a day today. So let me get to cleaning up and get myself home and maybe woosah a little. So I will be back to close out the vlog once I finish cleaning up the little messes everywhere. Cleaning up did not take me as long as I thought. It maybe took 10 minutes. Um, so here's my desk now. These are snowflakes that I have to tally. So we tally the sales and we use the tally sheet to know what teacher at each grade level is in the lead. Tomorrow, hopefully the student newscast that is put on by one of our seventh grade classes will share the video or share the information that I asked, asked them to put in the newscast announcing what teachers are leading in each grade level. And then today we had um, some kids in the leadership group make a commercial showing like what the um, holiday costumes are that the winning teachers would wear. And fingers crossed that that would be in tomorrow's newscast. Um, so we're almost done. We have tomorrow sales and then Friday. I also think that when I spoke to you earlier today, I was letting you know that I had a PLC meeting during my prep and I wasn't 100% sure what I was gonna do with my UA class. And I literally figured that out in the last, not at the last minute, like while we were having the meeting. Um, this district assessment that they're gonna be writing is an argumentative essay about the need to keep whether or not the penny should be discontinued, I believe. And um, to prepare, I remembered that last year at the end of the school year, I was gonna do the whole trial of SpongeBob SquarePants, which I did when I taught summer school. Not this past summer, but the summer before. I think I found this on Teachers Pay Teachers. It looks like this. I'll try and remember to add the link. And basically, SpongeBob is being put on trial for the murder of Mr. Crab. And they have all these different pieces of evidence um, that when put together could work to either prosecute SpongeBob or for you to act as his defense attorney. So the class is separated into two groups. Um, half the class is assigned prosecution, half the class is assigned um, to be his uh, defense attorney. And then they have to pull the evidence that's provided to them and pull pieces of evidence together that would help them win the case by either proving that SpongeBob um, did this without a doubt or creating the possibility that somebody else could have done this or something else could have happened. So today, what I had them do was I had them watch an episode of SpongeBob SquarePants, and I said, all I want you to do today is to watch this episode and jot down some personality traits, like how would you describe SpongeBob as a character, um, just based on this one episode. Then we shared those out. I really wanted them to see, like, as a character, he's pretty, you know, they said he was cheerful, happy, kind of dumb, like not the smartest um, little sponge out there. And then I read the scenario in the intro. So next week, because I don't see this group every day, I only see them twice a week. <laughs> next week is when they'll actually do the work of preparing for trial. So that is what I decided to do. That is a fun way to teach argumentative writing. How this class will perform, I don't know, because again, it's a hodgepodge of students some of which don't belong to me, like they're not in my core classes. Um, so it's just kind of an awkward class always, no matter what you do. But that's what I did to do. So, <laughs> I'm proud of myself for figuring it out. So yeah, I'm gonna go home. I'm going to end the vlog here because I don't wanna, <laughs> I just need to, I need to stop. I need to go home. Quiet down, which is what I feel like I've been saying every day. Get this quiz made and rejuvenate myself so I can do this for another day tomorrow. So if you enjoyed today's vlog, please give it a thumbs up. 
If you're feeling like I'm feeling, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. And if you'd like to leave a comment, please feel free to do so. As always, please keep it positive. And as always, I hope that you're well. And if you're not well, please be well. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, it's Thursday. I would just like to say, I don't know if I said it yesterday, but it bears repeating if I did. This is like the slowest week of my life right now. <laughs> like it just feels like this week is really dragging by. So I'm very happy that it is Thursday. Um, and every car in America is going right now. Last night, I just couldn't like last night I, I got home. Yesterday was a day, like I said, just like mental overload, tired of being frustrated, frustrated by students, frustrated by parents, frustrated by the educational system, just generally frustrated. And all I would like right now is just a moment of peace in my work life, a moment of peace, a moment of gratitude from both students and parents and again not all students and parents are lacking in gratitude but there are just so many students and so many parents that are unthankful that you just forget that there are people that are actually thankful and recognize what you're doing how hard you work what you're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis and I feel like yesterday I was just tired of all of that. So when I got home, I walked Woofy. Um, I wasn't going to, but I realized like you probably just need to get outside and just take a quiet walk for 30 minutes and try and unwind yourself. So I did that. Um, and then I came home and decided I'm just not doing any work. Like, I'm not doing anything. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to eat some dinner. And I'm just going to sit and just watch TV. So, I didn't edit any video. I'm going to take yesterday's footage and combine it with today's. And I didn't do any schoolwork. Not that I had a bunch of stuff that I had to do. But, like, my slide for today is not even made yet. And um, I haven't made the quiz that I'm going to be giving today. And I did that for a couple of reasons. One, for my sanity. Like I had to not work really for my sanity and my peace of mind. And two, really just to try and train myself or prove to myself um, now that I'm trying to be aware of like my anxious tendencies and like how to manage that a little better. Train myself to see like the world will not fall apart and everything will be okay if your slide isn't made the night before or if you don't do these things the night before because you do have a prep period that you can get it done in. Like, it, it just, really just setting a boundary for my own self. So, um, that's what I did. I'm glad I did it. I should probably do it more often. And so, that's what I did. Oh, and then I woke up this morning Somebody is really hitting the base in their car right now. Woke up this morning, got on the treadmill, started the day off right, and um, I'm feeling a little bit better. Am I still feeling like tired of the nonsense that is going on in education right now with parents, students, and the system? Yes, yes I am. Um, <laughs> did I think yesterday, once again, what else could you do for a profession? I did. I certainly did. Um, but I'm just gonna go in today. And what I'm gonna craft for myself is a quieter day. Today should be pretty easy, pretty low key, um, because they're taking a quiz, my core classes, and then we have library. So it really only one class period is usable and that class period, they'll be working independently on their quiz and then working on their personal thesaurus using the synonyms they generated yesterday. So it's gonna be pretty quiet which is what I think I need. And I'm just gonna give myself the break. I'm not gonna feel the need to do anything dynamic with them um, because I can't, I just can't do it. <laughs> so 
that is where I'm at on this Thursday morning. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm not sure when I'll check in. Like, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me to check in during prep because that will essentially be in about 25 minutes or so and not much in my life will change between now and then. But, um, and then the day is pretty short. So, I will touch base with you later in the day. So, until then. lunch break right now I really need to find something to prop you guys up on um, I did in fact get my slides complete and ready to be uploaded before the bell rang um, so yay me I proved to myself I, the world just kept on going nothing terrible happened and so far we have had the quiet day that I need they took their quiz and then they were given three things they needed to work on all of which were independent and quiet and we went to the library and I'm about to repeat that with my switch class so this is definitely a day that I need it um, here's what I'm having for lunch in case you want to know it's a factor meal so every now and then I'll have an extra factor meal and I'll eat it for lunch this one let's move that out of the way requires a knife but this one is get it together Latanya this one is black pepper and sage pork chop and it is 670 calories <coughs> excuse me and I'm really glad that I have this for lunch because I've just been feeling really hungry I think sometimes when I work out in the morning um, when I'm done working out and I get dressed I just am very hungry and I don't really eat breakfast which I know is a bad thing <coughs> excuse me I have like my coffee container um, but I don't eat breakfast really because I just don't have the time and today like by a second period I was like I feel like I need a steak dinner so I'm glad I have like protein and not a salad to eat for lunch today but that is how the day is going so far I do have there's a meeting after school for the culturally responsive committee that's district-wide and I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'm on this particular committee because I'm like one year ahead of one group um, but I might go anyway because it's here and they're also giving some feedback from the people that come in and observe our classroom so I'm kind of curious to hear what that feedback is so I probably will go to that meeting after school and then I'm gonna head home what's been nice about them being quiet and independent is I've also been able to get some grades in that I was kind of getting backed up on so that is how the day is going so far Today and tomorrow are the last day of Snowflakes sales. I'm very close to being the teacher in the lead in the eighth grade and I've been really pushing hard for that. Um, so we'll see how that pans out, but it's 12, probably at this point, 12.30 on the dot, lunchtime. And it's after school, it's about three, and I've decided I'm gonna go to the meeting to see if it's a session I've already attended, and if so, ask when you do the debriefing portion of the practitioners that came in to observe us, can you let me know, and I'll pop over for that, because I do have other things I should be doing. Right now, I'm gonna go head over to another teacher's classroom to deliver these little Santa hats, because the local police department or fire department is coming tomorrow to pick up any toys we collected because there was a toy drive being organized here by a different student group on campus and they would like a photo with some students from the school when they pick up the the items um last year the leadership my leadership class did it but i was out of the country in spain it's almost been a year um and tomorrow we're going to be hustling and bustling for the last day of snowflake sales um so i found a teacher that does work with another leadership group on campus and she's going to have her kids take the photo so i'm gonna go bye i'm gonna go deliver those hats but i also want to show you here's Here's my snowflake status, so I'm doing pretty well. Um, I am trying to compete with the teacher in eighth grade that's currently in the lead. I think that teacher has something like more than 200 snowflakes, and I'm getting close to that. Um, so we'll see how that pans out tomorrow. But let me go deliver these, check in on that meeting, 
and uh, I'll be back. Drop the hats off. I just checked to see if I had done the training and I had. Um, the feedback that she's gonna share from the practitioners, she's also gonna post on our shared Google Classroom. So I'm just gonna check that out later. Um, because like I said, I can't be doing things twice right now. So I'm gonna stay here for a little bit. What time is it? It's like 3.15. And I wanna finish entering grades, the grades from the town hall meetings. Um, I get very annoyed with my type A self, but then I also have moments where I'm like, thank God you're type A. And so putting in grades for these um, town hall meetings is one of those moments because the town hall meeting basically, um, if the person that I pick to go on the panel is prepared with their statement, seems to be able to answer questions, um, and actively participates as a panelist, they get a hundred points and so does everyone in their group, their group of three. Um, if they're not a panelist and they're in the community audience, as long as they participate, engage in the process, they get 100 points, but if they don't, they lose points. So no matter what they're doing, they're being graded. Is it a perfect system in that there may be some sessions where kids didn't participate as a community member and I didn't catch it? Yes, but I feel like I it's the kids that don't participate stick out pretty well because the kids really do get into it. So the type A me, uh, the type A in me said, I just need to keep a document where I notate for each town hall meeting, who was the person in the group of three that actually was a panelist and document, did they do well? And if not, what is the score? So I had a document where everybody's name was listed that acted as a panelist for every town hall meeting. Um, if a student did not do well as a panelist, I gave them a grade. Um, if they did poorly, like just didn't really get the job done, they got a 65%. If they were like, they did poorly, but they did a little bit. They got a 70% and then community members, if they said nothing at all, they got a 70%. And I'm glad I just took note of it in like real time because if I hadn't, and this is like now a week or two after all the town halls are done, I wouldn't have remembered. Um, and so I just like the fact that I did that because I still am able to hold every student accountable. So that is yay me type A. <laughs> Um, so that's what I want to finish putting in. I got all the town halls put in for my homeroom class. Now I just need to do it for my switch class. And then I'm going to go ahead and go home. And I think I need to turn in this paper. Um, the priority, what is it called? Disaster service worker prior priority leave survey. So I have to fill out this form that I'm not going to show you because it has my personal information. That basically once I turn it in, um, it's asking me, do I have any kids? Am I married? Am I caring for anyone? And the answer to those is no. So if there's ever a real disaster, um, based on that, I am the last person to be released. So I need to go turn in that form right now. Because if I don't do it now, I'll forget. Um, and then I'm going to come back and put in my grades. And I will end the vlog just before I am leaving. So see ya. See you in a little bit. the town hall meeting grades entered in my switch class. I also have my slides made for tomorrow and scheduled to post on Google Classroom. So I am free to go home, which is what I'm going to do. Um, I don't think I showed you my winter decorations. Did I do that? If so, you get to see them again. If not, here they are. Um, I do know that I mentioned that, you know, for this time of year, I don't decorate for Christmas. Like I don't put a Christmas tree up or do like a real Christmas look. Cause I know that not everybody celebrates Christmas. Um, so I just make it winter based to just promote inclusion and not make anybody feel left out. And also what's nice about that is that because it's winter, I don't have to take it down when we get back from winter break. I can kind of leave it up there. Um, and now that I'm saying this again, I do think I showed it to you, but I'm over here, so you're gonna see it again. But just that, those are the garlands that I bought from Michaels, and then I just put window clings on the window to match the season, and then I got these little things here. I think I got these from like 
the Target dollar spot a few years ago. So that will be up until it's officially spring and then I will swap out the window for spring garland and I also put snowflakes on the door right there. Okay. Um, so yeah, just a little classroom decor. But I'm about to pack myself up. I'm gonna go home. I kind of need to start trying to lesson plan for next week and maybe the week when we get back so that I don't have to be thinking about that over my break. So, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. If you enjoyed today's vlog, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. If you would like to leave a comment, please feel free to do so. Keep it positive. Please know that just liking the video and or commenting helps the channel, helps keep me going, so I always appreciate it. And as always, I hope that you're well, and if you're not well, please be well, and I will see you guys tomorrow for Ugly Sweater Day. Bye-bye.